I think our first guest would happily do this. I think so too. He is a self-made millionaire who credits his love of books for helping make him a successful entrepreneur. The former major crimes investigator says literacy can reduce crime, lower debt, and make a more productive society. That makes, makes a lot of sense, total doesn't it? Sense. Absolutely. So he is now on a mission to give away one million books and donate hundreds of thousands of dollars to literacy organizations. Ken Dunn is the author of The Greatest Prospector in the World, and he joins us now. Great to have you here, Ken. It's great to yeah, be here. Yeah, nice to see you. Now, would you, would you do, do that, that slide? slide? Good Lord, I, I live in Toronto, and it's 14 inches thick, and I get scared. The CN Tower. Yeah, yeah, so there's no way. I just wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. And here I said, oh, he wouldn't be I afraid to do sure it. I thought for sure you would I do know. it. After all my time in law enforcement, I tend to take things a little more cool uh, now. I guess so, <laughs> okay. I guess so. Well, let's yeah. talk about your time in law enforcement. You were in the, uh, you were an RCMP officer I was as well. Ottawa police in Canada. As well as a, yeah, a city police officer. Did you guys know each other in Ottawa? I think we probably crossed paths for <laughs> well, sure. sure. We know some of the same people. We definitely Doesn't know. Doesn't everybody some of the... in Canada know each other? Absolutely. Well, it's <laughs> weird because they're, they're, we seem to know a few of the same people. Right. So let's talk about how you go from that to being a millionaire to being a philanthropist. I think he's more than a millionaire. A wow. multi-millionaire. I think he's a multi-millionaire. I'm, I'm a reader. Quadrillionaire. You're, just, you're really, really rich, I'm basically. Doing, I'm doing all right. <laughs> no, look, I, but it never started that way. I spent 14 years in policing. Mm. I, I was involved in some of the craziest things. I, my friends used to call me the as seen on TV cop because I did all that stuff. I found out I was going to be a dad and I needed to get out of it. I, I mm. not, I was, there was no post-traumatic stress going on. It was just I wanted to have a better life. I found myself starting businesses. I had a couple of wins. What kind of business? I owned a mortgage company in Canada that funded hundreds of millions of dollars in mortgages. How did you start that? Did you save up as a cop and say no? No, not at all. How when I realized I was going to be a dad, I knew I needed to do better in life. So I went to a friend who was a successful business owner and I said, help me, tell me what to do. And he gave me a stack of books and he said, read these books. And mm. by the time I finished reading them, I was addicted. Mm. He became my mentor. He taught me what to do and the rest was history. Wow. What was on that reading list? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, The Magic of Thinking Big. So the motivational the world. kind of self-help books. Absolutely. So they really work. Absolutely, they do. <laughs> well, look, so I've read over 1,500 books now. I've traveled all over the world speaking to people and speaking to major organizations and, and interacting with tens of thousands of authors and and it caused me to really push forward in that direction today mm -hmm. i own a publishing company and the one of the fastest growing social media websites in the world and it's all dedicated to reading well let's talk about the the correlation between literacy and or illiteracy and crime yeah. what did you see when you were on the beat. So when I was on the beat, I didn't notice it. But when I launched ReadersLegacy.com and I realized that we were building this massive community of readers, I started thinking about what, what was the good I could do with it. And then I started doing research on the literacy problems that, are, that exist in this country. 18% of kids in America graduate from high school and they're functionally illiterate. That means they can't read two lines and put the words together. That's scary. That it's is very scary. 85% of people that are in jail, that are arrested for serious crimes, are undereducated and illiterate. So that's, that's proof right there. Right. What right. happened is then I started looking back to the people I had interacted with in law enforcement and I, and I saw it myself. The vast majority of the people that I dealt with were undereducated and were illiterate and that made me realize that I could take all of this money that we were building and making with readerslegacy.com and I could funnel it into a fund that I could redirect to incredible okay, organizations. So what does readerslegacy.com do? It does it provide free books to people who who need them? Readerslegacy.com is what would happen if you took Facebook and Amazon and merged them together. It's a social community for readers. It's a place that's magical and people that love books can build a virtual version of their library. They can connect with other people. It's also the third largest bookstore on the internet. It mm. sells thousands of books. We give every new person that joins a free book just for joining of, mm. of over 30 million choices. And every book we give away for free, we donate money to the Children's Literacy Fund that we've created. And uh, every dollar we make, we donate a percentage of that to the fund. Let's talk about the, how these kids are getting the help they need then to learn how to read. So every year we have thousands of organizations that have a mandate to change the, the stats, to move the needle. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, these are incredible organizations that exist in America and around the world that 
their whole focus was on helping children to read, to, to get rid of that problem. We believe that if we can give every kid in the world the gift of reading mm -hmm. and encourage them to read, and more of them do, then we can change most of the, the serious problems that we deal with today. Because it's one thing, and it's uh, we applaud you for doing what you're doing, giving away the books, but if they can't read, there's right. 32 million They're Americans. They're giving them to people that, like us. Right. And, and, but 32 million Americans who can't read, I mean, that's got to be first and foremost the goal. And, and even more important than that, it's the kids, it's the next generation, right. because we can get to some of those 32 million Americans, but we can get to the vast majority of the kids so they grow up reading, and over time we make massive changes in this country. Perfect. Well, okay, we Ken hope you're making a difference. Yes, we really thank you. Do. Thank you. Sign up and receive free books now, readerslegacy.com, and there's also a link on our website, daytimeonline.tv. And we'll be right back with more daytime right after this. Thank you.